I'm very fond of saying um, designers make the invisible visible. The architecture somehow just told me what to do. It's like a big painting. You start with one corner or one line and you just, and then it tells you where to make the next line and that tells you where to make the next line. It was not called super graphics. It was just Bobby was painting something. Le super graphisme. Uh, more different things I did. This is uh, this is part of super graphics at Sea Ranch. Bill Turnbull used to laugh about whether I was adding to the architecture or, or destroying it. I wasn't sure. I was trained as an artist and as a ballet dancer. In those days, women didn't talk. Women were told to be quiet and look good. That's what I did. When I was 17, I met Frank Stauffaker, who was 15 years older than I was. I fell badly in love. Frank Stauffaker made 16 millimeter experimental films. And he wanted to see all the films in Europe. So he proposed a series at the San Francisco Museum of Art called Art and Cinema. People liked Frank. He was very good looking, but he was also very kind and very smart. Frank Stoffaker, my husband, Gene Kelly, the movie star. Who's that in the middle? Me. Yeah, the way it just happens that way. It's like he's dead already, yeah. Frank died six years after we were married. He was, he was dead. He had died of a brain tumor. And there I was, and I had no money. And I also had to take care of my child. You certainly couldn't make a living being an artist in those days, and that's all I know how to do, was be a ballet dancer or an artist. Neither of them made money. But you did make, could make money as a graphic designer. I knew that much. So that's when I went to Switzerland. Armin Hoffman was a very famous teacher. He was very good. He was very Swiss. You have four years of Armin telling you every day what to do. We spent a whole year doing a Helvetic uh, alphabet. You just design each letter about this big, the grids, the proportions. And after you did that, your eyes were so trained you could see a millimeter off. You didn't express yourself. You did what you were told. Basically, there's a grid, 10 squares against 10 squares. You're sort of dividing it in half. Armin was very famous for saying, learn the rules. If you're brilliant, you can break all the rules. If you're not brilliant, you will be competent. There were rules for everything, and you just followed that. I was happy to follow them. I was really absolutely broken when Frank died. And I didn't want to admit this, but if I'd stayed in San Francisco and taken it out by drinking and messing around, I could have immediately gone to hell. Whereas going to Switzerland was absolute, a sense of survival. Tell me about how you got to this graphic design. This layout here is obviously incredibly informed by your Swiss training. Yes, totally. In Switzerland, the first thing you do, it was just uh, straight lines. The words were simple. It was black and white and maybe a little vermilion. No tricks. It was this whole socialist thing of modernism, that it was art for the people you don't need decoration. You don't need serifs, you don't need wiggles, you don't need squiggles and script. Everything was just the truth. It was an absolute negation of the hypocrisy of the rich. That if you wrote a sentence in Helvetica, it was supposed to be the truth. It was really, really, I, 
unbelievably naive, it seems now, but truthful, it seemed then, that all this was going to make people happier. <laughs> In 1962, I had a little radio and I could get the Armed Forces Station in Bonn. And there was Kennedy running for uh, president. And I thought, aha, uh -huh, I'm going home. I was seduced back into my own country. I just wanted to go home where I could swim in the bay and smell the fog and not stick out as a as a, the American. Lawrence Halperin was a landscape architect. When I came back, Larry gave me an office. It was marvelous. In 1962, to be a designer, I needed whiteboard, black pens, and you used scissors, and you used your fingers. There was no Helvetica type. I had to send to Switzerland to have my name and address for my new office set in Helvetica. I cut and pasted it with rubber cement and had it printed. I just did the graphics for all his projects and so I didn't have to go out and look for work. I mean, they just used me for everything. I lucked in. I mean, my first job was the Sea Ranch. Well, at the time, there was nothing up there. It was wonderful, it was beautiful. And the buildings were just wood, no decoration. It really was very modern in that it was the essence of the house, easy on the land as possible. It was intended to be a new town with a church and a school, houses for poor people and markets, a real town. Larry wanted to build a kibbutz. I want to ask you about the design development for the Sea Ranch logo, because we do have a lot of the design ephemera. I just designed the logo as if Armin were sitting on my shoulder. There were sheep on the land, and there was on the seashore, and there were waves, and the shape of a sheep's horns and the waves. And that was just pure Swiss logo design. It was my first job, probably my best job. I started out doing just logos and Swiss graphics, and then I ended up doing super graphics. I did super graphics because of the money problems at Sea Ranch. They had done the swim and tennis club. They didn't have enough money to put a finishing coat of um, architectural something or other. Al asked me if I'd paint it and make some designs or something on it. And I said, sure. The Pacific Ocean was outside. There was a big wall, and I decided to make a huge wave in just stripes going up the shed roof and down. I used red and ultramarine blue and black and white. I was being a Swiss. I was doing everything Armin had taught me to do. Except I was doing it in California. It was big, it was bold, it was happy. I just did it, it was a job, I did it. I mean, it's like an architect builds a house. You know what to do, you do it. It's a sea ranch. I was in Europe, I didn't even know what PA Magazine was. There it was, I didn't know it was such hot stuff to have yourself on the cover.
Well, I think the original intentions were very nice, but it didn't work out that way. It's like everything. Lots of things start with very nice original intentions, but then they don't end up that way. Helvetic became the typeface of capitalism instead of the typeface of, of socialism. It's like modern architecture was made for making housing for the poor, Corbusier, but it ended up being only the rich could afford it in America, and so it became the architecture of the rich. It might have been that by then the salesmen were taking over. Mm -hmm. And they, they, that's when the whole theories, all the whole concept of the Sea Ranch changed from being a new town, mm -hmm. which to Al it was a new town, and to Larry it was a kibbutz. Mm -hmm. And then when the salesmen took over, it was second home real estate right. development. It's all real estate. And that's I love living here, and I hate being surrounded by design. I keep saying that design is just a cover and it's superficial, and yet I'm surrounded by design. I love it, and I hate it. I wanted to mix life and, and design and art. I mean, I think it's all mixed up to with each other. Writing the memoir I found very interesting. For me, somebody who was always having to either be a mother or a wife or a daughter who has supported her mother, I could just be myself instead of spouting what my husband had taught me. All of a sudden, I could, you had to think, what would I think or what would I say? I never had time to think about myself in this way. It was finding my voice. It's much easier to be older. You just don't care as much. Well, you don't have to deal with men and being in love or, or rejected or being a widow all those kind of things. I mean, it's just easier. Oh, God, I, we were miserable when this picture was taken. Enough. I can't stand anymore. Come on. I give up. I'm having a good time now making these books. I can say anything I want and more or less do anything I want. And it's not so serious. It was just a game of playing on a page, and totally silly, very seriously silly. Going back to the guys I knew when I was married to Frank, the Dada guys, Man Ray and Hans Richter, all those Europeans that were very profound and very silly. Somehow all that went into my baby head, and, and now in my old age, it's coming out again. The whole absurdity of it all and the humor of it all. I'm still working because I like sitting at the drafting board I love the weekend before last where it, I spent Saturday and Sunday in my pajamas doing this mural, this 63-foot hunk of art. It was fun to do it. I like the work. I like the doing of it. I don't believe it's going to save the world. I like doing it.